This is the wise crack in Warframe and today a Banshee build and how to use her. This is a frame to use for crowd control. So let's see how we managed it. So this is the build and on the left hand side you can see that this frame is balanced. It It is between 120% and 170% on all stats. So, how did we do it? Well, of course, we have power strength with intensify and transient fortitude. We got some duration with primed continuity. And we have efficiency by using streamline and primed flow for some extra power energy. And, of course, the rage mod for every time I got hurt, I get some extra energy. And vitality is for health so that I can get hurt and of course stretch so that the range will be sufficient. The first ability is called and it pushes your enemies away with a shockwave. Damage is affected by power strength and range is affected by power range. And with this ability you can push high level enemies onto the ground and then finish them off. This ability does not do a lot of damage, but it does give you some breathing space. With sonar you can find and track your enemies and it will expose a critical weak spot on that enemy. With this build you have a duration of 34 seconds and in that time it will show you all the enemies on the map within range. There's also a critical weak spot on your enemy and by hitting that you'll get a damage multiplier that can go up to 500% and is affected by power strength. Recasting sonar will highlight additional body parts. The third ability will create silence around you, stunning enemies and making it hard for them to hear you. With this ability you can perform stealth melee attacks for instance. This ability has a duration of 29 seconds with this build. It is also very handy because it stuns your enemies which gives you some time to obliterate them. This ability is very handy for certain players among us because some like the peace and quiet and this ability is for them. The ultimate ability is called Soundquake and in my opinion the shittiest ability of this frame. But it can still be handy though because with this ability you can perform a earthquake which will stagger your enemy. You will do some blast damage in a small area of effect. 
Smaller enemies will be killed with this ability, but larger enemies, high level enemies will just be staggered, which is a positive point for your teammates because they will have enough time to kill them easily. You on the other hand are still very vulnerable in this Soundquake mode. And as long as you have power energy, you can use this ability till you have nothing left. This is the last Warframe I got, but she is very good at handling crowds, which is great in a Tower 4 survival mission. So let me amaze you with the skills of the Banshee.
enjoyed the light show and i hope to see you again soon and until then my good friend adios and that brings us to our last build which is most of the time my fun build and this time it is a impact damage build because this weapon is primarily impact damage and as you can see with pommel and the concussion rounds we get some extra impact damage of course, we have Lethal Torrent and the Barrel Diffusion for the multi shots, Magnum Force and Hornet Strike for even more damage, Anemic Agility for the Fire Rate, but you can put Gunslinger there too, it doesn't matter, I'm just stupid, and Suppress 